And the Lord spake to Moses and said, Speak thou to the sons of Israel, and thou shalt say to them, When ye have entered into the land of your habitation, which I shall give you, and ye shall make an offering to the Lord in a burnt sacrifice, either a peaceable sacrifice, and ye pay a vows, either offer gifts by free will, either in your solemnities, ye burn odor of sweetness to the Lord, of oxen, either of sheep. Whoever offereth the slain sacrifice shall offer a sacrifice of flour, the tenth part of ephah, sprinkled all together with oil, which oil shall have a measure, the fourth part of him. And he shall give wine to flowing sacrifices to be poured of the same measure, and to burnt sacrifice and slain sacrifice. By each lamb and ram shall be the sacrifice of flour, of two tenth parts, which shall be sprinkled all together with oil of the third part of him. And he shall offer wine to the flowing sacrifice of the third part of the same measure, and an odor of sweetness to the Lord. For Seth, when thou makest a burnt sacrifice, either an offering of oxen, that thou fill a vow, either peaceable sacrifice, thou shalt give by each ox three tenth parts of tried flour, sprinkled all together with oil, which shall have the half measure of hen. And thou shalt give wine to flowing sacrifice to be poured of the same measure, and offering of the sweetest odor to the Lord. So ye shall do by each ox, and ram, and lamb, and kid. As well men born in the land as pilgrims shall offer sacrifices by the same custom. One commandment and doom shall be as well to you as, the, as to the comelings of the land. And the Lord spake to Moses and said, Speak thou to the sons of Israel, and thou shalt say to them, When ye come to the land which I shall give to you, and ye eat of the loaves of that country, you shall separate a little cake of your paste to the Lord, and you shall separate the first fruits of your corn flowers, corn floors. So you shall give the first fruits also of your salves or pottage to the Lord, that if by ignorance you pass by any of those things which the Lord spake to Moses, and commanded by him to you, from the day in which he began to command and over, and the multitude hath forgotten to do this, it shall offer a calf of the drove, burnt sacrifice into sweetest odor to the Lord and the sacrifices thereof, and flowing offerings, as the ceremonies thereof ask, and it shall offer a buck of goats for sin. And the priest shall pray for all the multitude of the sons of Israel, and it shall be forgiven to them. For they sin not willfully, and nevertheless they shall offer incense to the Lord for themselves and for their sin and their error. And it shall be forgiven to all the people of the sons of Israel, and to the comelings that be pilgrim among them, for it is the sin of all the multitude by ignorance, that if a soul sinneth unwittingly, it shall offer a goat of one year for his sin. And the priest shall pray for his, that soul, for it sinned unwittingly before the Lord, and the priest shall get forgiveness to it, and the sin shall be forgiven to it, as well to men born in the land as to comelings. One law shall be of all that sin unwittingly. For so the man that doeth any sin by pride shall perish from the people, whether he be a citizen, either a pilgrim, for he was rebel against the Lord, against the Lord, for he despised the word of the Lord, and made void his commandment. Therefore he shall be done away, and shall bear his own wickedness. Suddenly it was done, when the sons of Israel were in wilderness, and they had found a man gathering wood in the Sabbath day. They brought him to Moses and to Aaron, and to all the multitude. The which enclosed or put him into prison, and they knew not what they should do to him. And the Lord said to Moses, This man died by death. All the company oppressed him with stones without or away from the tents. When they had led him without forth, they killed him with stones, and he was dead, as the Lord commanded. Also the Lord said to Moses, Speak thou to the sons of Israel, and thou shalt say to them, that they make to them hems by four corners of their mantles, and fasten they in them laces of jacinth, when they see those, have they mind of all the commandments of the Lord, lest they pursue their thoughts and their eyes, doing fornication by diverse things. But more be they mindful of the behest of the Lord, and do they those, and be they holy to their, to their God. I am your Lord God, which led you out of the land of Egypt, that I should be your God.